The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter if you're in Timbuktu or Kalamazoo, as long as you're here at the right time. Ah! You knew it had to break. Eh, eh ran an, uh, an update and forgot to go back and check. But every time you run an update, it changes. your output on audio. So let's try that again. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Much better. So uh, as we uh, move along here today, what do we have? Uh, a bit of a bounce. Uh, if you're bullish, a little bit of disappointment that you couldn't uh, hold and break through uh, 4596. Uh, we're about 20 points below that, although we did uh, try that earlier in the morning. Uh, right back to pretty massive short selling. Um, I was looking for a, a bounce, uh, maybe even up to 46.50. Um, maybe we get something tomorrow. Maybe we don't. Maybe it's next week. But there are an absolute mass of people that are short. And I can understand it. Uh, literally everything from the headlines... Uh, um, in fact, uh, I saw a list of the stuff that you know, the Americans were most uh, uh, anxious and uh, and worried about. And uh, Russia came in fifth. Uh, but uh, the other four, eh, well, we're not talking about them. It kind of reminds me of the lead up to World War II where everybody just tries to ignore all the problems make uh, like they're going to go away, but uh, they are not. But, you know, we've got a ton of money still sloshing around. Uh, the Fed's still buying bonds. I know that's going away. Uh, but uh, you know what? All that cash is not going away in a day. Um, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a two-way trading market. As I said a couple of weeks ago, I suspect this year is going to be a great deal more about uh, picking stocks and being in the right ones. And uh, you're going to have some winners and some losers. But uh, I think it's going to be a stock picking market probably up until December where we'll have a little bit of a Christmas rally. 877-927-6648. Uh, the first email comes in from Hector. He says... Uh, yeah, what about the naysayers out there? Can you just play them a little bit, a little bit of negative waves? Don't you knock it off with them negative waves. Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Always with the negative waves, Moriarty. Always with the negative waves. Yes, what a great movie. I haven't watched it. I, I seem to watch it about once a year. But uh, well, maybe I'll have to put it on my list for this week. But certainly there's a lot of things to be negative about. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, it, it didn't get to that level in a day, and it's not coming off those levels in a day. It's going to take some a while. And there's going to be a lot of sector rotation as everybody starts looking for a faster horse and one that's probably a little ret, uh, less risky. Uh, when the Ukrainians, is that what they are? Ukrainians from Ukraine? I think they're Ukrainians. I can call them that. It's not uh, demeaning. Anyway, the Ukrainians uh, got thrown under the bus uh, uh, with a little bit of talk of... Uh, and yeah, maybe it's just a little bit of uh, of invasion, and it's not so bad. Kind of like a little bit of pregnant. Uh, well, why that doesn't have, uh, affect us right off the bat too much, 
Uh, the real reaction that I saw uh, overnight was uh, with the Taiwanese, who think it if they're going to toss the uh, Ukrainians under the bus, that we're going to toss them under too. So it's going to be a tough road. I saw some people talking about maybe a bounce in the semiconductors. Um, I don't know. We, we probably are going to get one. I don't think that we're going to get one the next day. Uh, certainly looks like uh, the big uh, plan to get, what would you call it? Big plan to get uh, uh, the bear raid through was there was a tremendous amount of bearish press uh, from last night into this morning, including downgrades and everything else. It looked to me like maybe a lot of the big guys on Wall Street at Goldman Sachs uh, were probably short and they were more than willing to throw a little bit more fuel on the fire. Um, I've seen more bad press on YouTube for, for uh, a couple of semiconductors in the last day than I've seen in the last year. And that includes when they were going after Intel. Um, maybe it's just the zeitgeist uh, for you people in Lutz. That's a German word that says kind of the spirit of the times. Probably the best one. And uh, I don't get used uh, get to use zeitgeist enough. And uh, yeah, my two years of German in high school were probably wasted, but I I can't pronounce that word. Um, but uh, as we look at it, uh, certainly. Uh, if I was in Taiwan right now, or at least uh, if I was in their mindset, they're starting to look for places uh, to move uh, before uh, the invasion. Um, and who knows? Maybe it or maybe it comes out. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, there's. I mean, there was. Uh, if you ever watched uh, Herman Wook's uh, "The Winds of War," read the book. Um, just goes through all the lead up into all of that but a, a great book especially historically to get the mood of the times when everybody knows uh, that you have evil and uh, a lot of people not doing anything about it or going to do anything about it and as an individual you can't really do much about it other than vote but uh, that's kind of it we've got a market that I think is starting to get extremely nervous in the semis they're nervous about uh, uh, the uh, uh, the the interest rates here at home we got a small respite that made it look like maybe it's a little harder for the fed to raise rates with the uh, jobs numbers this morning but uh i don't think it stops them i think they're pretty much committed uh, and everybody's saying four i'm saying three i think they'll do a little we'll get a little bit uh you know we've tried this before um and uh it what last what is it, August and September, and it took all of about two weeks for the Fed to melt like ice cream on Georgia asphalt in the middle of July. Yeah, I think they're probably a little bit more committed to it. Uh, they're going to worry about what they see in the price of gold. Uh, they're going to see all that money coming out of uh, things like uh, Bitcoin. And they're going to know that there's going to probably be some implications from all of Anyway, a lot of stuff to digest. And if I was on TV, I'd be a jerk and say, what an hack. But I'm not. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges at which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. It is history repeating. Oh, I ran that long. Anyway, uh, it is history repeating. Apple airs their infamous Lemmings commercial during Super Bowl XY, oh, XIX. Oh, I did you ever wonder why? I'm going to digress again here because I've got to win the award once again this year. Did you ever wonder why all of the uh, movies had the copyright dates in Roman numerals? We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, anyway, uh, Apple uh, airs their infamous Lemmings commercial during Super Bowl XIX to launch their ill-fated Macintosh Office software. The ad was uh, widely considered a failure because the uh, commercially uh, commercial seemed and was rather insulting to its intended audience. Uh, so, what else do you have in that? Well, it's just one of those things. Um, Apple has had some big hits and some giant misses. Not quite as bad as this is not your father's, uh, your grandfather's Oldsmobile, uh, but damn close. Um, a lot of people say that this led, uh, this single ad was one of the biggest factors in business uh, businesses saying they wanted nothing to do with the Mac in its office. Uh, of course, it at this time was just really getting fired up with desktop publishing. They had a laser printer, they had desktop publishing software, and it was kind of in its infancy, infancy but you knew it was going to be a big thing uh, until the uh, internet really came out another 10 years or 15 years. And really desktop publishing still a good business, but eh, probably not what it was before. But um they, the advertising agency was struggling. They wanted something to come up for the Super Bowl uh, that was as good as the one that they had the year before, which is the infamous 1984 ad that uh, intimated uh, uh, hints of George Orwell's 1984, widely applauded. They wanted to come back. Really kind of the start of big Super Bowl ads after a couple of years. But uh, this one, uh, a misfire. And uh, for a lot of places, they could uh, say that they shot them 
ourselves in the foot. 877-927-6648. Oh, yes. 877. Anyway, we're fading a little bit. Uh, I got uh, some questions coming in here. Okay. Okay. For the first question uh, is from David, my namesake. And he wants to know about team. We'll take a quick look at it. Okay. You came in here. You did exactly what I say to do, which is buy halfway of the uh, open gap. And uh, you did exactly that. You came down here, uh, 2.2 million shares, uh, filling a gap of 6.1 million shares. So not quite a third, maybe a little bit more, maybe five sixteenths. Is that more than a third? Six sixteenths. Uh, I haven't done any fractions today. I'll have to warm up. But uh, certainly uh, 6.1, 6.2 compared to 2.2, pretty dramatically a, a drop uh, in this stock. Um, you know, you had kind of a decent move down here on energy, but this is going to be very tough to break, especially uh, when you uh, get through the next uh week or so um i'm continuing to think we have some consolidation to do before we really start dropping we're going into the olympics i think the news starting next week is going to get significantly better on the pandemic front uh, i think a lot of people are going to be talking about the uh the uh beginning of the end uh as we go into springtime um but uh yeah that is just my thoughts at the moment. But, yeah, I think that the market really starts heading down after we get done uh, with the Olympics. And I think start stuff starts getting real. I know a lot of people are thinking the Ruskies uh, decide to come in uh, and invade during the Olympics. Uh, they're going to have a lot of people down in China. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to wait until, um, you know, somebody's uh, looking somewhere else other than close enough uh, to their backyard. But I could be wrong. Uh, with the green light being given to uh, invade at least a little bit, become a little bit pregnant, I think it's problematic. 877-927-6648. Anyway, uh, this is exactly where I would want to have bought it. Uh, I wouldn't have bought it because of the energy from that December 28th low down to the January 18th low. But uh, it's going to be tough with that kind of disparity in volume. It may take weeks uh, just to get wound up to go break that low if you're still thinking it is bearish. Uh, yeah, I guess that is true. When the Jim and the Jimmy in the Den says uh, they came in a crime here right after uh, the uh, Sochi Olympics. Okay, what else do we have? Yes, I did see that. Uh, Hector sends in a link. Uh, it's been on YouTube here. And Don Rickles is roasting Clint Eastwood during the production of that movie. I think it was the first week that they were shooting. I saw that just a couple of days ago. But, the, yeah, that came out. Uh, it's been pretty big on YouTube. But uh, Don Rickles, he was a hoot. Uh, but uh, so was Mad Dog. Uh, woof, woof. That's my other dog impression. 877-927-6648. Emails. Okay. And see what else we have. Okay. Uh, first of all, MSFT. With Microsoft. And you got about half volume today. I don't, I'm not, like I said, I'm not expecting a whole lot. We weren't able to break through uh, the 45... Uh, uh, 96. If anything happens, my guess is we're going to probably go right up there and close at that uh, 54.96. Uh, and they're going to sit on it. Uh, there's a lot of calls uh, that are bought uh, above. And I think they're going to, at least in the futures, are going to try to make people go into the weekend holding them. And I don't think a lot of people will. 
But at this point, the idea is to keep the market down and get out of your short positions, at least for the first big wave down off the top. Uh, support is really fairly good at about 5,400 if we do get down there, 54, uh, down to 4,500, he said. Uh, so is there that much left? Uh, pretty much uh, uh, the gravy is gone. There's some scraps left if you do think that this is lower. But I would say that just uh, almost the Great Wall of China resides at uh, 4,500, he said, almost doing it wrong again. Yep. Back in a minute. trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading market and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, they're talking about uh, Amazon, Dan. All I can tell you is I got uh, a bunch of emails from Amazon trying to sell me some screwdrivers. They know I'm like Tim the Tool Man Taylor and love tools, but uh, don't need any screwdrivers. All these, although these are highly insulated ones for electri uh, electricity work. I don't do a lot of mains electricity work. I leave that to people that I call sparky, but uh, I do digress. Uh, and we talked about why I, no one's brought it up in the den. 
thought maybe someone would. Why all the movies have the uh, copyright dates in Roman numerals? There was a thought years ago uh, that if a movie had been out for several years, uh, that people would think, ah, it's an old movie, so I'm not going to watch it, especially when it came to reruns on TV. But a major fallacy in that thought, although that's why they did it, was that uh, eh, pretty much the copyrights came at the end of the movie. So you wouldn't know until you watched the thing that it was a couple years old. But uh, the practice persists. Okay, uh, anyway, we're looking at Microsoft. Got a little bit of a bounce, got no volume today. Not surprising, but uh, a lot of people still trying to handicap uh, Microsoft's foray into maybe becoming a uh, gaming monopoly. Uh, Microsoft certainly wouldn't be the largest. Uh, they would be the se uh, will be the second, I guess, if they get this deal through with Activision Blizzard. Um, a good deal for them. Um, of course, uh, the FTC chairman was out this week, Khan, uh, and this is not somebody that just spent a little bit of time thinking about antitrust. Uh, this is a lady in her 40s who spent 20 years working on antitrust. Um, so I wouldn't say it's a done deal. It doesn't make them a monopoly quite, to, and uh, they will be the second biggest gaming manufacturer. Uh, but I'm sure we're going to have squeals from uh, the Sony PlayStation folks because it, it probably will be the death of that if it goes through. Uh, <laughs> they have to expand to the metaverse. You know, I've had a lot of questions about that. I was going to get to it. The metaverse doesn't exist. And uh, I'm going to put something in the Tech Insider tomorrow, a link uh, to a guy that uh, was a, uh, uh, a tech leader at uh, Google and Facebook. And he goes through it in detail. Uh, but some of the comments in there led me to start checking it out. And that is that everything that those folks say that will be the truth is a long way away from happening. Everybody says it's 10 years. Um, I don't know how you develop for 10 years for something that you don't know what it's going to be in 10 years. Uh, most people uh, that know Zuckerberg that I've read here over the last week think that the whole rebranding and the metaverse thing is so he can sell his shares. Uh, they think that, like me, that he's uh, looking for a way out of uh, spending uh, time in front of a congressional testimony uh, and uh, in front of the Federal Trade Commission and the Justice Department over the coming years. Uh, but uh, that's it. It's uh, going to be interesting. But uh, eh, what can you say? Uh, anyway, oh, I was going to say what the, the uh, tech guy said, and he does it a little better than me, but... Uh, um, it certainly is uh, a the, the headsets are a factor of 10 in resolution away from not making people throw up all the time. Uh, you'll need a screen that's about 40,000 pixels wide uh, for the goggle headsets. And to get that, like I said, we're about at, we're about in, in, in a good day 4,000. And you need 40,000. Um, they've done a lot of tests, and uh, I guess this guy was in part of them, uh, about what made people sick and nauseous by having those things on. Um, my own experience is I, I'm not really highly susceptible to it, but I know a lot of people that are. I read in the, uh, uh, rode in the back seat of a airplane uh, before I got my license with somebody trying to get their instrument license they put a hood on you and uh, this person uh, got sick they keep a lot of barf bags while you're learning to fly on instruments but uh, certainly it's that same kind of thing uh, you get a lot of stuff moving your head's not matching what's moving in front of you and the better it gets the worse that part of it is uh, with your inner ear. And anyway, he went through a litany of these things, but 
we're probably at least 10 years away from the technology being accessible. And even then, it's probably going to still be $3,500, probably in inflated bucks, probably 10 grand by then. So I don't think that there's a whole lot there. A lot of the people in Silicon Valley don't think that there's a lot there. And people really still don't even know what it is. But uh, selling uh, the sizzle uh, is part of Wall Street. And George Soros said one of the best sayings ever, and that is all of uh, economic history is one lie and deceit after another. Your job as a speculator to get on when that lie is being propagated and get off before it's discovered. So <laughs> it is interesting. 877-927-6648. Let's take a look at, uh, eh, as long as we're talking about uh, Amazon, let's take a look at it. Uh, you did come down to this gap. My guess is, though, um, in, I don't know when earnings is on Amazon. I will check that right now. I'm sure that the uh, trade that this gentleman is in on the den is short term. Uh, okay. So what am I looking here? Oh, I'm looking for earnings. Hang on a second. There it is. Earnings whispers. AMZN. February 1st. Well, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, if it would have been a little bit farther out, I would have said that that was problematic. Uh, but um, here's the thought on the inside. Yes, can you get a short-term bounce on Amazon? Certainly, especially since the market kind of bottomed. Uh, the insiders uh, on Wall Street are all repeating the same thing. And the, the new CEO, like I said for a long time, has been throwing everything into the kitchen sink to get the books fixed after Bezos left. Almost every time, um, I'm trying to remember this guy, he's a famous um, accountant, but he says any kind of Wall Street books uh, come in one of two flavors, either gently roasted or completely baked. Um, I think Amazon probably, uh, probably a little closer to the truth, but still there's a little in there. And when you get a new CEO like they have, he's cleaning the decks for a long term. Uh, he's probably going to get some uh, options uh, down there at the lows. But my guess is that uh, if uh, he doesn't, uh, if he's spending a lot, we probably three see 3000 for earnings. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We return. Question in the den from Steve was about uh, why Microsoft bought uh, Activision Blizzard or is going to try to buy them. I think that they'll succeed eventually. But uh, I think it's all about uh, a good deal. One, they had an embattled CEO that had started the company uh, and bought it for what, 400 million, 400,000? It was incredibly cheap back then. It was a bankrupt buyout. Maybe it was 400,000. Uh, and has, of course, turned it into something is uh, worth uh, $68 billion. So um, he's in battle. They're all trying to push him out. Again, this is a whole, uh, whole uh, I'm going to say it's fairly close to the Intel thing uh, where there's an internal coup trying to toss the guy out. Uh, it's unclear whether any of this stuff is true or not. Um, as far as the allegations, everybody makes them. Um, kind of interesting that the year before UFO and uh, the uh, the uh, uh, UFO thing with uh, uh, in Rock, uh, Rock, uh, Rockwell, New Mexico, not Rockwell, is it Roswell, New Mexico? Uh, there were zero uh, UFO reports in 1945 and zero reports up to that uh, two months after it uh, and then a year. Um, and then subsequent years, they went up by about a thousand percent. And uh, yeah, maybe the UFOs showed up in 1946, but probably not. Probably people see it, they start repeating stuff. And there are a lot of people that don't like people that are making a lot of money. So it, it, it seems rather dubious. Uh, but uh, certainly when everybody, when the gang gets against you now, uh, there isn't very far for you to go, and this gave him an easy way out and uh, cash out at the top. Um, and uh, so uh, Microsoft got a deal that's probably fairly good. It'll take them about two years to make it worth uh, the $68 billion they're paying for it. They have the cash, so they didn't have to borrow it. So there's a lot of good stuff, but no, I don't think it has anything to do with the metaverse. I think everybody's just... Uh, <clears throat> I was going to say something rather rude, uh, but it harkens, uh, the metaverse harkens back to everybody telling people that uh, they're counting eyeballs in 2000 and 1999 for internet. It doesn't matter how much money you make, it all it cares is how many eyeballs you get. And we all found out how that ended up. So no, I'm not a big fan of thinking that the metaverse is much more of anything than a big excuse for uh, the Zuck stir uh, to uh, finish paying for the rest of the island he's buying, uh, which, according to him, is going underwater. But uh, he's buying it anyway. What, what does that make you think about his belief in rising tides? Somebody is not making sense. They call it cognitive dissonance, holding two contrary things in your head at once. But uh, I don't know why he would do that. He's supposed to be the smartest man in the world, right? Hmm. I do digress. 
877-927-6648. USO. Apparently, she is in uh, with the uh, folks out here. As I said uh, before, uh, she asked about a few before this. You're just going into this big gap uh, from the way down. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit here uh, so you can go back and get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, that's a much better chart. Hopefully, you're looking at this chart uh, on YouTube or in the den, uh, Mimi. Uh, This gap down uh, that we're coming into is the big one. Uh, Sanford and Son would be very proud of the big one here. 19,000, or no, excuse me, 19 million, uh, 300, yeah, yeah, 19 million, 300,000 shares. This goes back to March 9th, 2020. You're coming up on that. So let's call it 20 million shares. Uh, You're coming into that gap now with 3 million shares. Yesterday you had 5 million shares, 6 million shares the day before, 6 million shares. Uh, You're going to run out of gas probably fairly quick. Now, it depends on how much you want to sit on your hands uh, and wait. I think it's eventually going to go higher. You're probably running into resistance, though, and that resistance, at best, uh, you'd be looking at 65. Uh, With this volume, I would have sold uh, today. Now, maybe you get one more day out of this going into a weekend. Um, You know, it's not uncommon to see at least half those gaps on lighter volume. But, you know, if you've been long this thing for a while, eh, it's starting to look to me, if you're trading it, it's a little bit more of a uh, gamble than prudent speculation. Uh, My guess is that you could find uh, yourself fairly close to the top for a while. It'll need to consolidate, get enough energy to blow through 70. And I'm going to say that it's probably a little bit like gold and that... uh, Gold's taken a little while to go sideways, even in the 1800 area. And I think you can get kind of the same thing. Uh, For gold itself, I heard that Larry, who's a pretty active gold trader, was looking at this and going short today uh, when it popped. I think gold went to, what was it, 1848, I think, when he in the den when he was talking about it. Um, So that's it. But uh, same thing with gold. Uh, you had a gap down on 13 million shares. You got into it with 15 million shares, which was real good yesterday. Uh, but uh, you're into it with down on seven. It's probably going to consolidate here for a while before it goes takes out, at least in the GLD, the 174 out here. So figure, you know, we had a nice move. Um, you normally want three days after that um, to sell. I had uh, calls, so I took the money quickly because I didn't think there was going to be a great deal more. We were looking for a bounce in the market yesterday, came today. Uh, It's uh, underwhelming. I can say that. We're up 15 points on the S&P cash now. So uh, just keep an eye on it. Uh, Okay, what else do we have here? Okay. Yeah, probably pretty close to hitting pretty stiff resistance. Uh, is this a sucker's rally? I I don't think uh, that. I think that we probably just have a lot more people shorting everything that moves. And at one point, you're going to have a market that's too short to go lower. It may happen tomorrow. But we have the highest short uh, sell numbers uh, from the FINRA data going back to the election in 2016. So if any good news comes out, And all the bad stuff that we are worrying about today doesn't happen. Just remember that. You've got the biggest short positions right now, going back to 2016, the week before the election. We all know what happened when the news changed to what people believed it was. Even if it's short term, uh, the, the Fed hadn't quit throwing money at the market. I think a lot of people would use it as an excuse to sell. But you're still going to have to live through We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, get ready to shut down another Excellent episode of the Power Trading Hour. Um, question about the TLT comes in. Uh, da, 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 okay. And Ronnie wants to know what's going on here. Well, the Fed has been kind of active um, in these turbulent times. They're still in there uh, working on it. They're not done quite yet. But uh, next month, uh, we could see the end of all the bond purchases. Uh, you're up a little bit. Um, they did get involved early in the week after the gap down. But my guess is they're just trying to slow the roll. Uh, you're back up to 142. My target's still 139 on the TLT. Maybe we get that next week. Uh, depends, but they're trying to... I mean, the one job before the last 10 years of throwing money at the market was always to slow the market going down and uh, pay lip service to uh, uh, going after the market on the way up. No one wanted to be the party pooper uh, during a euphoric episode in the market, so they didn't ever and haven't ever really done much on the way up. It's all about uh, trying to do stuff on the way back down other than the last 10 years or 12 years. So a little bit different, but uh, at this point, um, they're, I think if they have one job, uh, it is to make sure that inflation comes down. 
I think they're probably going to do it, mostly because if uh, interest rates go up significantly, uh, I mean, uh, we could certainly lose a few wheels off the cart uh, in the USA with all the debt we've piled on. At some point, it becomes unserviceable for that, and uh, eh, what you can see. Anyway, uh, going to expiration tomorrow. Expect the unexpected. Got a little bit of earnings in the morning, but not much. Uh, Got to get more into that next week. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same at channel. Same at channel.